All right, we're live. Hi, everyone. Hello, Vicky. Hello, Caroline. Hi. So I think we are live. Sorry, we are a couple of minutes late. We just had a little technical glitch. So <laughs> hi, everyone, and welcome to tonight's Facebook Live. Um, it's great to be here, and I'm with two brilliant co-founders of Pink Spaghetti, Caroline Gowing and Vicky Matthews. Hi, ladies. Hello. <laughs> we feel like we're on TV, but we we like we've, we sort of said come in the studio, and it all felt very exciting. But actually, <laughs> it's our moment. Ten seconds of fame. <laughs> huh? I know. Ten it's very exciting. Fame, yeah. So I'm really pleased to have the King Caroline with us again. Um, some of you may already have met the King Caroline um, because we did a Facebook Live, didn't we, about a year ago now? Yeah, um, yeah. Was it a year? But the group's just grown so much. And there's so many people who talk about wanting to set up as a VA, wanting to set up their own business. We thought it'd be great just to jump back on, didn't we? And just sort of remind yeah. people of what we do. So just to give you a bit of an overview um, of Pink Spaghetti, which I'll do. And then I know that you, you're you both going to jump into this and give a bit more detail. Um, Pink Spaghetti offers an amazing franchise opportunity um, with full support and training um, to set up and run your own VA business. Um, What's really exciting and what really sort of made me want to explore this further is that I think that when you talk about VA, you talk about it being, you think about it being an admin and so on, but actually it can be, in, you can come from any background, which is really exciting. And there's so many people in the group asking this question all the time and saying, I've got such, you know, strong experience and skills and what do I do? Um, and since meeting you both um, and hearing the story and hearing about how you set it up, I thought it just, I know it knew it'd be a great fit for the community. And actually, um, I think two of our flexible working people members have already set up and are running their own successful franchises with Pink yeah. Spaghetti, which we'll yeah. talk about a bit. And I know so many of you are at career crossroads and thinking about what to do. So tonight we're going to deep dive into this with Caroline and Vicky, um, what setting up as a franchise means. Because I think that some people might not even understand what a franchise opportunity actually means. Yeah. Um, and if you're considering this as an opportunity to hear more about it. So let's start. Let's kick off. Do you want to just tell us a bit about Pink Spaghetti and a bit of background to the business and yourselves and kind of give us an overview of what the opportunity is? Yeah, OK, so Pink Spaghetti, we're a network of business owners uh, and we work together as, as Katie says, mm -hmm. part of a virtual assistant franchise. And we'll sort of go more into the franchise and what it is a little bit later on. Um, we basically su uh, provide support and expertise to small business owners um, as virtual assistants and small business experts. Um, we are our customers go to experts for everything small business related and each day we work on a, on a huge variety of tasks um, and that variety of tasks really does make every day really very interesting. Uh, last week, we actually went out to our network to get an update just for our uh, most recent franchisees, an update on the sorts of things they were working on that day. Um, the breadth was incredible. Um, and some of the things they said, they, um, they said setting up a live webinar, uh, writing blogs, editing reels on Instagram, taking minutes. Someone was starting working on a project for the NHS, uh, booking tradesmen for an Airbnb owner, organising a major women's event for an International Women's Day, which was yesterday, um, writing a client's marketing plan, um, and perhaps randomly uh, organising a locksmith for a client to legally break into a house. So, you know, what some people think of as being a VA isn't necessarily uh, what is actually a VA. Yeah, I mean, I think as well, it's important to know our customers too are hugely varied. Um, anything from uh, management consultants to cafe owners to cyber security specialists uh, to photographers. It, you know, we really do cover the, the whole breadth. Um, and as a, a Pink Spaghetti franchisee, um, what we're offering is the opportunity to build your own uh, profitable business from home. Um, all of our franchisees are home-based and they all work flexibly um, building highly successful businesses. Um, often they've got their own teams um, and because our franchisees um, all have their own fixed territories, um, everybody's non-competing. So it's an extremely collaborative um, set of uh, people. Um, everybody's there to support each other, to work together. Um, and it's, you know, it's amazing to see actually really, really is. It is. 
Um, so who were we and um, why did we set up, <coughs> excuse me, Pink Spaghetti? Uh, so we founded Pink Spaghetti together 13 years ago now. A slightly few more great hairs. <laughs> we both had successful corporate careers before bringing our experience into the small business world. Um, I had years working in retail environments um, at a head office level. Then I moved into IT, specialising in retail IT. I worked on configuring systems, going through large change management projects for retailers such as Boots and Harrods. Um, I had work that took me into large projects ab abroad. I was lucky enough to travel to some amazing parts of the world. It turns out that that didn't work with having a family. Um, mm -hmm. I'm extremely process minded. Uh, I, don't, I will always look for a technical <laughs> answer to any problem. Love a spreadsheet, me. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so before Pink, um, Pink Spaghetti, I worked for Alliance and Leicester. Um, I joined them as a graduate trainee um, and gradually worked my way up to some senior management roles. Um, along the way, I was lucky enough to, to work on quite a few big uh, projects where I was exposed to working with sort of the, the senior team, the boards, to see how major big companies sort of uh, make their decisions. And that was really, really informative and, and a really great experience. Um, I've always been passionate about sales, something I've, I've done quite a lot of, but I'm also love business development. And I think for me, um, Caroline loves the spreadsheet and a technical thing. I love um, the whole side of, of developing our business, but also supporting um, our franchisees build theirs. That, that for me is, uh, that's where I get the thrills from. <laughs> um, so we had years of corporate life, um, but we were both faced with a, a crossroads, which we know many, many of our franchisees also have. The crossroads seems to be the thing everybody has in common. And we wanted something different. We had enough of the rigid constraints of the nine to five or probably longer, uh, the office based roles. And at the time, flexible working was still considered not to be a proper job. Um, yeah. Something you played at. And I know you feel very strongly about this, Katie. Uh, yeah. So we set out to build a legitimate and, um, and profitable importantly, business model and, and sort of tried to bust the myth, really, that working flexible wasn't a real career choice. Um, and that's we, we feel so passionately about that uh, and have proved that it's, you know, it's possible to do. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. So that was a really good background to both of you. And I think what's interesting is that flexible working, I mean, lots of companies are now offering more flexibility as we've come out of COVID, aren't they? Yeah, but I yeah. think that the crossroads which you talk about are really it's just a really interesting pivotal point for many because yeah. so many people just don't want flexible or not. They just want to run their own gig. They just want to take control back and run their own business and not have to reporting line and all of that. So this just presents like it's just that pivot, isn't it? It's that crossroads that you talk about, which is so interesting. So I, I think, think that, the word control is so important. It is that control in what people are doing. Yeah. I mean, I mean, so, you, know, you don't have to work, you know, ask anyone if you want to go to sports day or if you want to go out for lunch or, you know, it, it's your business and, you know, your responsibility and, and that freedom and control over your own destiny is is, is really empowering. Exactly. Like you, you can't put a price on it. And I think that for me, setting up my business, I mean, I fell into this, but, you know, running my own business was the answer. And I think that so many people get to that point. So I think that it would be interesting just to hear a little bit about the type of experience that people need to join, the, you know, and to become a franchisee. Um, we talked about, you know, PAs and VAs, and I think that people sort of associate that with admin. But what's really yeah. interesting is you don't have, it doesn't have to be an admin background and you've got people who are running their businesses from all sorts of backgrounds. So do you just want to give us a bit more detail around that? Yeah, um, I, I want to say is we, we don't, you don't have to have any specific experience um, and you certainly don't have to have been a, a VA or a, a PA before. Um, we will train you, uh, and we do train you, on, on everything that you need to physically do to, to be a, a Pink Spaghetti uh, franchisee. Um, but, it, and you know, that's kind of the easy bit for us because we, we've seen it, we've done it, we've been through that whole process, we know what works. Um, but what we're looking for um, are the sort, of, the sort of key traits for someone who can build a successful business. So, you know, we're looking for people um, who've got that drive and tenacity rather than a, a specific background. And in fact, most of our franchisees haven't come from a traditional sort of um, VA, PA background. Um, we've got a whole host of, of backgrounds, everything from marketing, HR, um, legal people, uh, quite a few NHS teachers, uh, project management, um, IT, you name it, um, we, we've got it. And actually what I love about that is that actually everybody brings their, their previous corporate skills 
yeah. sort of before and, and everybody benefits from it. So, you know, because as I said before, we're so collaborative, you know, people will, will sort of push out to us and you've got experience in this. And, you know, it, it, you'll find someone out there has worked or has heard of this or done that. Uh, because of all the, the experience people have got so it's, it really does make um you know working within pink spaghetti so much easier and you know kind of more exciting as yeah. well hearing about what everybody else can do Definitely. yeah no i think that's just i think that's really amazing and i think that really people will be quite surprised because to hear that mm -hmm. there are people who are lawyers and teachers and accountants mm -hmm. and people who've been in finance and wouldn't even consider that you can right. use your skills to set up your own business so to hear that and I know that you've got you know the couple of people who have joined from flexible working people I know that one of them was from tech wasn't she she had a tech and an right. IT background yeah. and is offering quite a bespoke VA business now yeah. and you know it's about tapping into those different skill sets it's got, they've got such transferable skills and people don't recognize that they've got these transferable skills no. and I think um, as well that people, you know, quite a few of our franchisees have taken time out to, to have kids, you know, uh, uh, quite a few of them have. And actually then coming back into the corporate world is, is quite daunting. People worry that they've, there's yeah. this massive skill back gap, things have changed. Um, and actually, you know, when people are coming to, to Pink Spaghetti, having had that career break, you know, because we, we train people on all the things that we're going to do, that that is not an issue. It's And, you know, people haven't lost the, you know, those core skills that we're looking for and that drive and determination to, to sort of uh, start a business. So it's 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 really nice to see people who sort of come in quite sometimes a little bit nervous mm -hmm. about or um, have that bit of that imposter syndrome, thinking I can't do it because I haven't done it for a while and see them blossom and, and build amazing businesses. It really 100%. is. It's a, new, it's a kind of a new lease of life, isn't it? It just brings oh, new yeah, impetus. All the time. It's, uh, so what, what would you say makes a successful VA? Is there like a specific type of person or skill yeah, set? What, what? Type of person. Most of them love a list, I have to say. We all love a list of things <laughs> spaghetti. Um, but we need, you know, we're looking for people and the people that are successful are ones that have real drive drive and tenacity to create and build a business. Um, so we're looking for business owners, not just VAs. Um, some of our most successful franchisees are the ones that respond well, not only to the coaching and training that, that they get, but they seize opportunities and they come, you know, when they come up and they love a challenge. And they're also really proactive in looking for opportunities and improvement in things like processes for our small business customers to really add value to, the, to our customer base. OK, so what so you've sort of talked about this, but what would a typical persona be of a pink spaghetti person and who this would say? So you sort of talked about drive and tenacity. Is there sort of a typical? It, it, they, they've got to be highly organised, very proactive, typically a corporate career, as, as we've touched on, uh, and really looking for a new direction and, and challenge. Uh, uh, you know, something flexible, something that they want to be able to work from home. It's also somewhere, someone who wants to uh, join a network to kind of give and take. You can add value to the network as well as taking the value that they can add. Um, okay. So it's, yeah, somebody who's up, up for a challenge and ready to step out of their comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Starting your own business, you're going to step out of your comfort zone. Yeah, 100%. I think we, we find quite a lot of people who have sort of always dreamt of starting their own business. Um, but actually, it's such a massive step to do it by yourself. We always said that we were lucky because we had each other. We would never have done it by ourselves. Um, and hopefully that's what we're able to give back to, to other people because it, it does help having somebody um, not only to do all the technical things that we do, but actually just to be there as a, you know, to listen when you're having a good day, when you're having a bad day, to provide sometimes it's just a sounding board for ideas um, and that general support. And, and that A hundred percent. I mean... I know from setting up a business how hard it is to get those sort of fundamentals in place. And you don't really know what you're doing at the beginning. So to have sort of a group of people there who know what they're doing and so can support, guide you and collaborate and so on. It's just like it just and tell you me. what doesn't work as well. Yeah, of course. That's what we offer. It's not just the training and what does work. It's it's what we did that didn't work and what we spent money on that yeah. we shouldn't have done. Uh, it's just as valuable. So tell us a bit about the training. What does that look like? What sort of training and support do you give? So uh, there's a full breakdown in our prospectus that anybody can ask for. But in short, um, we offer over 80 hours of initial training. Um, and that's broken down into the first six weeks, really intense. 
um, in sort of three weeks remote training, daily remote training with lots of assignments and homework. We have then in-person training for a couple of days because it is lovely to be flexible and work from home, but actually nothing beats really meeting people face to face. Yeah. So we, we like to get to know people that way. Uh, we cover practical uh, how to do things that we know customers want on a daily basis, but also a lot of the softer skills such as selling, networking, uh, resilience is really important in the small business world. So we uh, bring in outside experts where, where we need to, to talk about networking skills and resilience. Um, go into finance, most people haven't you know, done all the things you need to know as a business owner in the finance area. Um, once you're established, um, we, you know, the, the training carries on sort of monthly. We introduce lots of different things up to the first year. And then once you're established, um, those people that want to grow into a bigger business, we've got a few developmental programs. So much as like in the corporate career, when you are able to develop skills, um, we've got our developmental programs so that you can take on more knowledge, more experience and build your business to be a much bigger business. Some of the subjects that we would cover then would be uh, vision and business planning, strategies for growth and innovation, customer engagement, uh, operations and more finance. Um, we've got an online training system called the Pink Academy so that even if we don't go through those developmental programmes, there are always uh, online training that, that franchisees and their teams can carry out uh, to upskill. So the training and support we are very proud of. Um, it's um, I think you know it's second to none. We spend a lot of time and a lot of money on it, um, and it just means that you can come in and just keep keep on learning. Most people do enjoy uh, all the experience they gain and the systems they can learn about. Yeah, it They're is just I'm proud of. Yeah. So just um, just so that we know, do you have different cohorts? So when's the, do they all start at the same time, presumably? Yeah, no. that's, a, that's a good question, Katie. It's, um, we have three uh, a year and we bring people on. Firstly, we bring them on at the same time as each other because the, the uh, relationships that are built at that time is something we had never expected. And it's yeah. really amazing. So yeah. that's we would never train somebody on their own for that reason. Uh, but also there are really good times of the year to start a business and leading up to summer holidays is not one of them. So we bring people in in January, April and September. So our next lot of training is, I think it's about the 25th of April after the Easter holidays. Uh, that's where the next cohort is. So could, is there time for people still to get involved? Uh, yes, just we're in about the last two weeks of being able to, to accept applications and then... Um, mm -hmm. Go through, the, know, yeah, go through the application process, which is a very informal and very much based on both parties being a good fit for each other, loads of opportunities to ask questions. OK, so can you just explain, because I think that people don't really understand the fran what a franchise model is. Can you just explain what a franchise actually is? What, what do people buy into um, and what are the benefits of setting up as a franchise? Because I think a lot of people... On, in the community would say, I want to set up as a VA, how do I do it? And there's those sorts of questions that come in like at least, you know, four times a week. <laughs> yeah. um, and I don't think that people will necessarily have considered franchise model as an, op as an option here. So, yeah. you know, and they feel a bit out of their depth, like I'd like to be a VA. So just can you just talk people through and give them comfort in kind of understanding what it means? Yeah. Um, so essentially, when you're buying into a franchise, you're buying into a, a proven business model. So we kind of say, if you do A and B, you will get C. Um, we, we, we know what works. We, we know what our customers are after. We know how to, to reach them, how to deliver the products to them, what the price point should be, how to invoice them. You know, literally, we have thought of every, everything so that you kind of don't have to reinvent the wheel. Um, and that does mean that you can hit the ground running and, and get started and have a profitable business a lot quicker, potentially, than if you, you go it alone. Um, we've got 12 years experience um, behind us. And, and literally, we have been there at the very beginning when we sat there going, oh, my God, where are we going to get our first customer from? How do we charge? Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, the calls that we had between each other going, oh, what do we do here? What do we do there? You know, we have learned so much over the years and, and, and really refined and, and honed our expertise and skills um, so we really do know um, you know when people buy into we can you know we've kind of seen every scenario and we can help and advise um, and support people um, and it, you know what we're offering is that opportunity to start you know within that sort of safety blanket 
um, and that security of a proven business model, something that they can do from home, it's going to be flexible, but is also going to be uh, really profitable um, and enjoyable. Uh, you know, no yeah. two days are ever the same, and we absolutely we love it. Um, I, think, I think the benefit is that you've got, um, you know, you have got a network around you. So if there's something that you're not quite sure how to do, or you haven't got time to do, immediately you've got the whole network. You've got 50 people, 55 people behind you. So yeah. tell me, someone's actually asked, one of the listeners has asked, how does the franchise network collaborate and work together? Is there like a, if you've got like yeah. a... Yeah, we, we have, um, we have a, a, a close Facebook group where all of our franchisees um, chat on a daily basis, whether it's asking questions or um, asking to, you know, has anyone got time to help with this? Um, has anyone worked with this can do this for me? And so people can put out requests. Um, we have a cross franchise rate so people know how to sort of uh, invoice each other for the work. Um, and, you know, in typical month, there is absolutely thousands and thousands of pounds worth of work going between the franchisees. That's so interesting as well, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And it's, I think we, you know, all our franchisees, they own their own territory. So they're not competing. And that is a real value because they know they're not going to see somebody else, a networking group who's going for the same business. Yeah, that's interesting, particularly because you might have one specifically in tech or marketing and then but you've only got uh, that one. So there. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, you know, the, the fact that everyone has got such diverse skill sets, yeah. you know, we've got some franchisees who are quite specialists. Some are very techie. Some are brilliant on social media. Some are admin queens. You know, everybody has got something. Um, and actually, sometimes having that sort of backup as a franchisee, knowing that you can go out and talk to, to a customer and they're going to say, can I do the X, Y and Z? And you you know you can, even if you're not going to be able to deliver it. Well, it's, it's great for that reason, because if you're, yeah, if you're a specialist, you know you've got the backup, so you can take on business, do that piece of business, but pass on the rest. Absolutely. So you've got a network behind you. Yeah, going but, back to the, yeah. Sorry, Katie. Go back to the difference between, you know, setting up on your own. Often people are so limited by their own experience, and they're usually yeah. very experienced, in one particular area and don't have the time to dip into other areas. Um, whereas, you know, with all the training, we, we are giving people that time. Yeah. Um, I think additionally, when things change, um, GDPR was a big thing, COVID was another big thing. Um, then if you're on your own, then you've got to take some time that's not earning time to go and work out uh, what the changes are, how they affect you, how they affect the customers. Whereas you've got a team behind you here that are always looking for that, always looking for what's changing, what your responsibility is, how you can communicate to a customer. Um, so it increases your own earning time. Um, and most of our franchisees are building teams. So it then brings in an additional bit of flexibility and work-life balance that when you've got team working for you um it you know if you then want to take a friday off or uh all that sort of thing just work a little bit more flexibly you're able to um so a yeah. lot of those things don't happen when you're when you're on your own yeah. because it do push you a little bit to go out of your comfort zone if you want to and we make it easy to to go out of your comfort yeah. zone but it does mean you know with the support you know we do regular mentoring you know you don't kind of do the training and then sort of left to it we we speak to our franchisees all the time and we're, we're sort of working with them on their business plans helping them to get to where they want to be um so you can you know sort of push gently if they want to be pushed you know we can support we can help them um identify how they're going to get to where they want to get which is really important to us um, and get to the type of business that they want to, to build up. Um, so that's, you know, that I see as a, you know, I said at the beginning, I love working and helping other people build their businesses. And that's something that's a, it's a, our key role, really, um, which is Absolutely. really nice. So I think the question that a lot of people always have on their mind, and you've get this, asked this a lot, is obviously a co there's a cost mm -hmm. associated with investing. It, I know that you've always been really transparent about this, so yeah. you know, it's good to talk about what the cost is yeah. and tell people, and I know you've got an offer also um, for flexible working people, community, which we can talk about. But So let's just cover with, uh, the cost and also sort of let's maybe give some insight onto what return on investment looks like and yeah. how people yeah. can recoup the costs and how quickly. Yeah, so yeah, very transparent. Everything's on our website. Um, cost of a franchise is uh, 7995 plus VAT. Um, 
people turn over between uh, obviously building a business first sort of four six months is is tough and we'll get you there as quickly as we can but our franchisees that are established on average turnover just over three and a half thousand a month um, our larger businesses are turning over between 60 and 100 thousand a year um, we've got about 15 uh, franchisees 18 now that uh, turn over more than four four thousand a month um, our business is, is often seen as and described as a lifestyle business, um, but, but it's not. It's a business that allows you to have the lifestyle, but whilst still uh, keeping the control, as we talked earlier, work flexibly um, and have the lifestyle that you, you want to have. Um, so, uh, the, yeah, we've got an offer for flexible working people. Yeah, so we want to make it as easy for people to, to start and, and, you know, we'd love people to, to book onto our April training. As we said, we, there's a few weeks left before we can do that. So for, for our April training only, we're offering people the opportunity to pay, instead of paying the, the franchise fee in one lump sum, it can be spread over three payments. Um, so there are three equal payments. The first one would be um, for, for 2665 plus VAT, which would be at the point of signing the, the contract. Um, then the second payment uh, would be payable at the end of May and then the third payment at the end of September. So it allows people to, to manage their cash flow a bit and actually start to, to be earning some money um, before they have to pay out for the, the full franchise fee. So we hope that that will be a really useful offer and hopefully, you know, might be that sort of um, a little bit of a nudge to people to the help, yeah. give them that opportunity to do so. And just out of interest, so the majority of the people who buy the franchise buy, um, do they, is there a mix of people who get loans or who pay outright? Like, is there a mix yeah, of how it, people fund it? Yeah, we feel mix. Um, there is um, quite a few people have gone through. There's a, a government uh, loan that people can apply, apply for to set up a small business. Um, and we can provide details of that. Um, that seems to be a pretty straight walk forward way of, of doing it. People want to go that route. Other people use savings. People have got redundancy. Uh, family members help out. All sorts of things. Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully by sort of kind of breaking it down, we're, we're just sort of bringing that opportunity uh, and enabling people to do something that they might not have had the, the opportunity yeah. to do before. And we talked already about a couple of people who have already joined from our community. But as you said, you've got a huge network. And I know that we're going to drop a link in to the thread after this with follow up. So if people want to get in touch, they can. But what's what's interesting is that through the link, you said that people can see like lots of different franchisees, hear their stories. Yeah, We've we've set up a, an email so that if you, you I know you're going to put the link in in the comments mm. if you, people sign up then they they will receive an email uh, within five minutes just showing them I think we've got four different franchisee stories so us interviewing four different franchisees from completely different backgrounds um, just giving their experience um, and then if you'd like to. Um, request a prospectus then there's a link in that within that email and prospectus is about 25 pages long all sorts of information but there will also be questions that still aren't answered because everybody has got different priorities we've heard all the questions in in the world yeah. um so there's a link to book a discovery call so as i said it's a very sort of open it's, it's a difficult decision people haven't always heard or considered about a franchise so it's a very open process. Yeah. Um, we're very and you open. talked about territory. So once people get in touch, you can tell them whether the territory is available or not as well. Yeah, we won't send a prospectus out if the um, territory is taken. But, you know, on the Contact Us page of the website, pop your postcode in. If there's a territory, if there's a franchisee there, they'll pop up. And if they don't, then the territory is available. But we're always happy to have a look and uh, and advise. Yeah. And I think, uh, yeah, as to reiterate, we'd love to have, you know, chat with anybody if they've got any questions questions when they've had a look at the prospectus, seen the videos. Um, we, you know, we really do have a bit of a mantra that no question is a silly question because you kind of don't know what you don't know sometimes. So, you know, um, I'd urge people to, to get in touch and, and we can arrange to have a, a, a chat. Perfect. Okay. And Vicky and Caroline are both in the Facebook group and we'll answer any questions. So there's lots of ways to get in touch. Yeah. Okay. Well, look, we've run perfectly to time. We're one minute. Oh, over. Um, <laughs> I'll be good. Um, <laughs> Thank you so much. I feel like, you know, oh, we whiz you. through this, don't we? We whiz through it. But in half an hour, I think we've covered an enormous amount of information. There's a lot to take on. And as you guys said, you know, get in touch, ask more questions. No questions, a silly question. It's got to be right for you. And it's got to be, you know, it's got to be the right opportunity. Yeah. Um, but it's definitely one to explore. Um, all right. Well, thank you both very much um, thank you. for joining. Yeah.
Um, the offer's great. I'm going to post a link. And if anyone's got any questions for Caroline or Vicky, either post them on the thread or get in touch. Your contacts will be there. Yeah. And um, we will see you soon, I hope. Thanks very group. much. All right. Take care. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Bye.